The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take this Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Old Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. She sure is a beauty, ain't she, Grandpa? Yeah, she sure is. Woo! If a fella had a gun like that, the quail would come flying right at him. <laughs> they can send her the, uh, an honor to get shot. <laughs> What's your price, Steve? Well, it hadn't changed, Grandpa. It still says $48.50. Thank God, Dan. I guess we still have to use our old gun. Uh, Busted sight and all. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. What is it, Luke? How about this? What'd you say? It says, women, enter our Mrs. Homemaker contest. First prize, $50 in merchandise. Sponsored by Carter Brothers General Store. $50? That's what it says. Well, if we was a couple of homemakers, we could win us that gun. Yeah, well, we ain't sure that's that. Luke, I just thought of something. But about Kate, she's a homemaker. We could put her name in. Oh, I don't know, Grandpa. Kate ain't much of a one for entering contests. Well, it's a shame not to enter in one that she could win. You know she's the best girl done homemaker around here. She sure is. And think of the honor, Luke. And the gun. <laughs> Well, I guess I could talk to her about it. Well, why do that? Put a name in and then we'll talk to her. Wait a minute, Grandpa. Now, I ain't so sure it'd be right to do that without asking her. I mean, what if she don't like the idea? Now, look, Luke. If we listen to this sign, we can have that gun. I sure have always wanted a gun like that. And I wouldn't be much of a husband if I didn't think that my wife was good enough to win. You're so right, Luke. Grandpa, it's practically my duty to turn Kate's name in. It's your abandoned duty, Luke. By golly, I'll do it. You're a good husband, Luke. <laughs> Get them three right between the eyeballs. Yeah, look. Ain't that a pretty picture? That is the prettiest picture of a homemaker I ever saw. Well, I may not be the prettiest homemaker, but right now I'm the tiredest. <laughs> well, now, it don't show. But what does show is it's a sparkling clean kitchen, not a speck of dust nowhere. You know, Luke, when you married Kate, you got yourself a jewel? Oh, I know it, Grandpa. I know it. <laughs> she ain't only an all-around homemaker, she's a... Look. Just take a whip of that soup she's making. Hmm? Just take a whip. Go on, go on. Mmm, mm, yummy. I'm boiling little Luke's overall. <laughs> well, how do you like that? She makes everything smell good. <laughs> that is the mark of a real homemaker. <laughs> all right, you two. Now, what's this all about? All these compliments about me being such a great homemaker. Well, it's just the gospel truth, isn't it? Oh, let me do that for you. <laughs> hey, Luke's right, Kate. It's just a shame that a whole lot of people don't know what a good homemaker you are instead of just us. Well, as long as my family knows it, that's good enough for me. Oh, no, it ain't, sugar babe. Why, I wish there was some way of letting everybody know it. But there is, Luke. A corner general store is having a homemaker's contest. Homemaker's contest? Yep, yeah, and all the women in the valley is entering. And Kate could win it hands down. Well, of course she could. Yeah. And you ought to see the prize or... <laughs> and they're giving a hat. An A award with your name on it. Think an honor. Yeah, I suppose it's an honor. Yeah, well, sure it is. Yeah. Grandpa, why don't we enter Kate's name? <laughs> right now. Yeah. Grandpa. This is sure sweet of you, but, but you know I'm not one for entering contests. What contest? The old the Mrs. Homemaker contest down at Carter's store. Yeah, and we think Kate can win it. <laughs> sure, Kate, why don't you enter? Oh, I don't know, half. But you're a wonderful homemaker. Yeah, and a good cook, and you keep a sparkling house. And think of the honor and the gut. <laughs> Imagine walking into the next PTA meeting as Mrs. Homemaker.
Mrs. Homemaker. It does sound kind of nice. Please do it. Come on, sugar babe. Well, all right. You can put my name in. <laughs> Come on, Hattie. Let's get to the bedroom. <laughs> What's the idea of getting all fancied up, you know? You don't have to get all dicked out to get skunked to checkies, you know? Well, truth is, Amos, I just come by and tell you you can't play tonight. You can't play? No, just as I was leaving the house, I get a call. I gotta go into town. Well, that's a fine how do you do on our regular checky play at night? And I was all fired up. Sorry, Amos. Business before pleasure. Business before hogwash. You peeked in that window before you come in the door and you seen me and then you knew I was red hot. You're just afraid to get the licking, that's all. Don't holler at me, Amos McCoy. I could lick you with both eyes closed. But this date in town's important. Well, what's more important than keeping a date with me than I've been figuring on all week? Meeting with the head of Carter's general store to talk about judging. That's right. <laughs> judging? That's right. I have been selected to judge the store's Mrs. Homemaker contest. And that ain't hogwash, so excuse me. Hey, now, George, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wouldn't have flied off of the hand if I'd have known you was going to town in such real important business as that. <laughs> me and Luke wants to congratulate you, Dr. Oh, we sure do. It, uh, George, it's a real honor you getting picked for judge. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I intend to do my best. And <laughs> yeah, you'll do a bang-up job of it, that's for sure. But say, George, you don't have to rush off now. Why don't you come here and sit down and rest yourself a minute when one of Kate's right in before? Well, I can't stay long. That's all right. You just sit yourself down now. Sit back, George. Sit back. God done it. We got to celebrate this happy occasion. Hey, Luke, you go on out in the kitchen and fetch George a piece of that mouthwater and homemade pie cake. Will you? Coming right up. Hey, Miss, I just ate for and left the house. Well, the artists can stand more pie, George, and Kate makes the best in the county, partner. George? George, you come up here and have this pie sitting at Kate's sparkling clean dining room table. Well, uh, well... Hey, come on, not that it makes any difference the way you eat in this house. She keeps it so spick and span where you could eat off on the floor. <laughs> See, couldn't you look? Right. Yeah, there you are, George. And there's plenty more if you want it. Always did enjoy Kate's cooking. <laughs> she in the contest? Contest? Yeah, the homemaker's contest. That's all you was judging. No, Kate ought to be in it. Oh, we never thought about it, Luke. You know, it's funny, it just never crossed our minds. You would take a smart fellow like George to think of anything. Then again, I guess he knows who he'd like to vote for. Wait a minute, Amos. You know, I can't play favorites. Oh, no. <laughs> George, we wouldn't want you to do that. Oh, of course not. We wouldn't want to win no way, but honest. <laughs> Give him another piece of pie, Luke, please. Oh, no, 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 I better not. I better not stretch my stomach, you know. I'll be eating a lot of food in the next few days, you know, in the contest. <laughs> <laughs> well, now's a good chance to get loaded up with good food before you have to take on some of that second-rate stuff, you know. <laughs> Maybe so, but, uh... <laughs> Cut him another piece, Luke. I gotta talk to you. I got some news, some bad news. Bad news? What's the matter? The car sold the gun? No, no. You told him to hang on to it, didn't you? Grandpa, the gun is still there, but we haven't got a chance of getting it. Boy, what are you talking about, boy? With George McMichael being judge, we practically got that gun in the hand right now. George <laughs> ain't the only judge. What? No, there's gonna be two other judges dropping in on us. You mean we gotta get three of them to vote for Kate? No, but we gotta get two out of three. Oh, Luke, that ain't democratic. <laughs> Grandpa, wait till I tell you who the other two judges are. One of them's Willard Hasby. Well, that's good. He's a large brother. Uh, well, he's also got five daughter-in-laws, and they're all in the contest. <laughs> well, we still got a chance. Who's the other one? Yeah. Hold on to yourself, Grandpa. The other one is the widow Comstock. A man? <laughs> oh, no. You sure of that, Luke? That's right, Grandpa. Old Flapjaw. <laughs> that is what you called her at the last Grange dance, isn't it? Or was it Gravel Throat? 
You know, it was flab jaw, Luke. But only said it for fun. Well, she wasn't laughing, Grandpa. And she also wasn't laughing when you told her that dancing with her was like dancing with a pickle barrel. With the pickle still in it. Yeah, I suppose that did put a dent in our friendship. Now, Kate sure ain't gonna get a vote from her. You say, Luke, if there is one way we can get out of this. Well, how? I gotta get back into a Mandy's good graces. Hmm? You remember she used to be sweet on me once? Yeah. Now, if there's just a teensy weensy spark of that left, maybe I can fan up the old fire. Grandpa, the only fire's gonna be when she burns your ears. Yeah, but you're forgetting one thing, boy. Us McCoy's always been catnip to women. <laughs> See, I'm gonna dust off my Sunday suit. Pick me a bunch of flowers to take over to, will you? But don't get nothing in there. You have to make a sneeze. Because I wouldn't want her to open her mouth more than she has to. <laughs> Afternoon, Amandy. Peekaboo! It's you. What are you doing here? Ain't just a bee drawer to the honey. Here, Amandy, I brought these for you. <laughs> just what I needed. Well, you can use these to feed them. Yes, of course. If you came for a reason, state it and then go. Why, well, Amanda, you sound like you didn't want to talk to me. It's been a long time. Not long enough. Yeah, you're just like all them female butterflies. You get so many bows after you that, that one more on the vine don't mean nothing. You forgot the Grange dance? How could I forget that? That's the night you held a quarter behind my back for George McMichaels to cut in and take me off your hands. That ain't so, man. It was 50 cents. Now, look, Amanda, you ain't gonna believe this. But look, I, I, I've been thinking a lot about you, you know? I said to myself this morning, I said, Amos, uh, you should set your cap for that Amanda Comstock. That's what I said. And then I says to me, she's a fine looking woman. She's got style. Lots of it. <laughs> she's so awful young. Amos McCoy, I don't believe you. Not after those other insults, comparing me to a pickle barrel, calling me flat jaw. <laughs> Why, that was just part of the plan to break us up. Break us up? Why, sure. I'd much rather turn you again me than to, than to saddle a beautiful young thing like you with an older man. You are in your thirties, ain't you? The, the low thirties. You know that I'm older than that. <laughs> oh, please. Don't flash that dazzling smile at me up so I pity on an old man. You know they say a man is as old as he feels. Or as young. <laughs> Oh, I told you how young I feel when I'm around you. You'd blush. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me. Well, there's a chance. It ain't too late. Well. <laughs> you ain't gonna regret it, little girl. I'm gonna show you a big time. Starting right away. Tonight. Oh, Amos. Tonight? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna take you on a fling like you've never seen before. Everything's gonna be just for you. Oh, it sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna take you over to our house. You're gonna have the best supper you ever had. And you're going to eat it in the cleanest house you was ever in, and you ain't going to have no trouble judging Kate uh, when you... Judging? <laughs> oh, judge. So that's it. That's the reason for all this sweetness. You found out that I was a judge in the homemaker's contest. Oh, no, Amanda. You didn't want me. You wanted my vote. <laughs> no, honest. You haven't got an honest bone in your body. Now you get off of my property. You and your thievery and your lies. Now get out. Get out. All right, I'll go. But as far as paying George McMichael 50 cents to dance with you, that was cheap. I had to pay all them other fellas a dollar. Guess who's inside? Ooh. It's George and Willard has become to judge Kate's homemaking. Now, we're sure of George's vote, and if you got Amanda's vote... Th oh, you have got Amanda's vote, haven't you? There's a pickle barrel all over again. <laughs> well, here goes our gun. With only George to vote for Kate, we're dead. How do you know we only got George's vote? We ain't even tried to get Hesby's yet. See, I'm going in there to work on him. Hey, wait, wait, Grandpa. Grandpa, save your breath. I told you about his daughter-in-laws. Oh, we haven't got a chance with him. Now, look, that ain't the way a McCoy talks. A war ain't over till the last shot's fired. And I'm going in there now and give him a folly. <laughs> Kate! Kate! Hey, I'm just... 
your scarf. You got any of them wonderful vittles of yours? Well, George, will it? Can't imagine seeing you here. Hey, what you do, drop in for a snack? Amos, we're here as official judges. Oh, for the contest, huh? Well, Kate's a good cook will make it easy to pick a winner. Well, did you ever taste such wonderful angel food cake in your life? Amos, will you kindly leave the table? I'm just trying to be sociable, George. You see this? Yeah, what'd you say? Official judge. Well, that's pretty. Will it? And the only one that can talk to an official judge is another official judge. Are you an official judge? No. No. Then you can't talk to me or to Willard. So will you kindly leave the table? <laughs> Do you mean to tell me I can't talk in my own house? Oh, rules, Grandpa. Well, that's a lot of nonsense. Now look, will it? Uh, I'm afraid she's right, Amos. <laughs> hi, Kate. Yeah, hi, little Luke. Hi, Grandpa. Well, I guess you had taken about every house in the valley, but they ain't none as good as Kate's. <laughs> well, I don't know, Grandpa. I had some over at Mrs. Well, McLean. <laughs> Speak to Kate about this boy's appetite. All he does is eat, eat, eat. And I don't see why, too, because her food's that good. But look how he's drawn. Will it? Would you believe he's only four and a half years old? <laughs> what are you talking about, Amos? Four and a half. Why, that boy's at least... Don't talk to me, George. I ain't a judge. You just remember the rules. <laughs> you went out and play in your sandbox, because that's what you'll be doing next year when you start in kindergarten. Well, kindergarten, Grandpa. I'm in fifth grade. <laughs> Hard to believe, will it? Four and a half, and he's in the fifth grade? Kate's food ain't only nourishing, it's brain building. This is one for me. Thank you, Kate. I think I get a pretty good idea. And goodbye, all. Where are you going, George? Some place where I won't have my intelligence insulted. George, George, wait a minute. I was just saying, I was not saying that for you. I was trying to get Hesby's boat. We're sure yours. You are, huh? Well, sure, you're voting for Kate, ain't you? I can't say. What do you mean you can't see? There's other homes I have to visit. Has other homes got your best friends in them? Right now, I ain't got a best friend. I'm a judge. An impartial judge. <laughs> now, that's a pretty howdy-do. After me spending all the time of buttering you up and feeding you good homemade pies and bread, he ain't sick and helping oh, stew. You was buttering me up. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Oh, what a shameful thing to do. A sneaky, shabby, shameful. Uh, I'm a... Uh, <laughs> Of Haddon's. George, wait a minute. Is that the volley you was going to fire, Grandpa? <laughs> it don't make no difference. We ain't got a man and we ain't got Hesby's vote anyways. Well, goodbye, Mr. Hesby. And thank you for all the nice things you said. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't mention it. Don't worry, we won't. Now you can vote for whichever daughter-in-law you're going to vote for. <laughs> oh, that's where you're wrong. This little lady is the best little homemaker I've ever seen. <laughs> You mean that you ain't going to vote for one of your daughter-in-laws? Ugh, oh, I can't stand their cooking. <laughs> Goodbye and good luck. Bye. 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 Did you hear that? I, I declare I got a good chance of winning this contest. Well, now, sugar babe, don't get your hopes up too high. Oh, I won't, I won't. But you must admit, I, I got a reason for hoping. <laughs> Thank you both for putting my name in. Oh, golly, I feel just awful. Me too. That George. The next time I pick me a best friend, I'm going to pick me one that ain't so goddamn honorable. <laughs> Declared Grandpa, it's downright disgraceful to go hunting with a gun like this. Well, the rabbits just sit there and laugh at you. It's pitiful, that's what it is, it's pitiful. And goddamn George. I just wish he wanted my best friend. <laughs> hey, looky, Luke. A telegram. Hey, somebody must have died. I bet it's my Uncle Leslie. Hey, go on, open it up. What does it say? Yeah, oh, it's addressed to Kate, Grandpa. Oh, the name of Uncle Leslie. <laughs> well, open it up. What does it say? Grandpa! Hey, good news? Somebody leave us some money? <laughs> no, Grandpa, it's about the contest. Kate won it. What? Yeah, that's what it says here. To inform you the judges have awarded you first prize. Hey, Kate! <laughs> hey, Kate! Kate! Okay? My good Kate. old loyal friend, George. <laughs> oh, there's no use, my good friend. <laughs> 
that she ain't here, Grandpa. She must still be in town. Yeah, that works out real good. Hmm? You now we can go get the gun before she finds out about it. Come on, boy. Wait, wait, just, just, just a minute, Grandpa. What for? Well, Grandpa, maybe we don't deserve that there prize. What are you talking about? Kate won it, Luke. Yeah, well, that's just it, Grandpa. Kate won it. And she won it because she was the best, not because of anything that we done. Now, wait a minute, now, Luke. Look, listen, Grandpa, be honest. Kate won it on her own merits. Well, she's getting all the honors, ain't she? Getting the trophy and getting the name in the paper? And as far as the prize money goes, why, we ain't spending all of it. There'll be a dollar and a half left, and she can spend it all on do Come on, son. Oh, excuse me. Grandpa. Okay. Oh, I've got the most exciting news. I came in to do some shopping, and Mr. Carter told me I won that contest. No. And I not only get a trophy, I get $50 worth of merchandise. <laughs> So I bought us a new iron and a toaster and a carpet sweeper, all the things we would need. But I only sent $48, so there's two dollars left. Here, Grandpa, you take one, and Luke, you take one, and you go buy yourself some new dad. 